man, I don't know if you can hear that, but the cicadas are going crazy in the hangar today. Huh. I guess it's that time of year. Good morning, departure Vinjet 379, Juliet Mike 1.5 for 3000 and the turn to 090. 379 on Juliet Mike, turn right heading 140. Right turn 140, 9 on Juliet Mike. 379 on Juliet Mike, turn right heading 180. Right turn 180, 9 on Juliet Mike. Let's take off runway 19, 379 Juliet Mike. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well and thank you so much for coming along in this video. In this video today, I'm in the hangar at John C. Toon Airport, uh, just getting this aircraft ready for its next flight. This is an aircraft that I manage for an owner here in Nashville. So we're here today updating the databases, making sure the oil's at the proper uh, level for the engine, and uh, just doing a few other touch-up items on the aircraft. So. Thanks a lot for coming along with me today. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to uh, talk to you about a couple topics, give you a couple updates on the channel, and I uh, appreciate you guys coming along today. First thing I wanted to talk about is there are still a couple lease opportunities available in the Nashville, Tennessee for this beautiful Generation 2 Vision Jet. If you're not familiar with the way aircraft leasing works, essentially you pay as you go. In other words, you pay an access fee, uh, so you have monthly access to the aircraft, and then you simply pay per flight hour. Beyond that, you just pay for your contract pilot, which might be me or somebody else that you hire, uh, and then any actual flight expenses, and uh, you can operate this aircraft and get full access to a beautiful Generation 2 Vision Jet. This one's really nice because it's got the safe return feature, and also it was updated with the additional hot and high performance uh, and takeoff um, performance additions. So that's really, really nice. Super, super safe aircraft, really beautiful to look at, has uh, an exceptional ramp appeal, and it's uh, certainly fun to fly. So anyway, if you have any interest in leasing an aircraft for business or personal use and you're in the general uh, Nashville area, you might want to reach out to us and we can kind of give you a little bit more information about this aircraft. Again, it's going to be limited, limited opportunity because um, we don't want to have too many leases on the aircraft, but there is room, room for one or two more, again, for business or personal use. So in any case, um, reach out if you have any interest in that and, uh, or if you have any questions whatsoever. And uh, so the next topic, of course, is if you've been following the channel for any period of time, you know that last month I achieved my multi-engine commercial rating. And uh, some of you might wonder what I might be uh, doing with that. I am certainly looking for um, commercial opportunities to fly multi-engine aircrafts as we go into the future. But uh, for now, I certainly enjoy flying the Vision Jets for this owner as well as uh, others and uh, providing supervised operating experience and mentor flying for uh, pilots around the country. So if you have any interest in uh, any mentor services or having me come along with you on a flight uh, and provide some degree of mentoring and assistance as you fly, I'll be happy to do that. This video is sponsored in part by SF50 Flight Support. Check out sf50flightsupport.com for more information. We make jet ownership better with comprehensive services for owners pilots and operators of SF-50 Vision Jets. In a previous video, I alluded to the fact that there may be some difficulties uh, with the negotiations between Cirrus Aircraft and I. As you may be aware, I had ordered a 2024 delivery position for a uh, Vision Jet from Cirrus Aircraft, and I've been waiting for about two years for its delivery. Its uh, delivery date was originally scheduled to be around June 4th of 2024. As I mentioned in a previous video, I had a custom tail number assigned to that aircraft as well. So that aircraft had some meaning to my family because of that tail number. And we were certainly looking forward to being able to take ownership of that aircraft in June. I'm happy to report that uh, negotiations between Cirrus Aircraft and I have worked out in a favorable fashion for both of us. Uh, I'm gonna be working more in a cooperative fashion with Cirrus Aircraft in the future, and they will be likewise doing the same with me. So that's great news. I've always enjoyed supporting the VisionJet fleet and uh, providing these videos for VisionJet owners and prospective uh, pilots in the future. So um, anyway, I'm just glad that things have worked out for us. I 
have been notified that there is going to be a slight delay in the delivery of that aircraft due to production issues or whatever the case may be. And so now we're looking at a June 20th of 24 uh, delivery slot. So uh, hopefully around June 20th of 24, I'll be going to Knoxville, Tennessee and taking uh, possession of this brand new 2024 Vision Jet. I'm going to move forward with a plan that I've had for about the last two years with my next uh, Vision Jet. So it'll likely be a Generation 2 Plus Vision Jet, but you never know. It's going to be delivered uh, to me uh, in June of 2024. So I'm looking forward to that. And it will have the new tail number, 90 Delta Papa, assigned to it. I'll take this opportunity right now to insert some photos of the exterior and interior for your viewing pleasure. If you've hung around this channel for any amount of time, you know that I am a huge fan of the Vision Jet. My ownership experience was great. I enjoyed every bit of it. I enjoy flying the Vision Jet professionally. I enjoy bringing my friends and family in the Vision Jet. I also enjoyed the volunteer flying I was doing with medical patients and military veterans in the Vision Jet. The Vision Jet was the perfect aircraft for my mission. Now, was the Vision Jet perfect for everybody's mission? Well, some people will buy a Vision Jet and realize they need to go further, or they want to go higher, or they want to go a little bit faster. But think about it like this. In order to gain about 25% more speed, altitude, and endurance will cost you another 100%, if you will. So if a Vision Jet is $3.5 million, for you to get to the next level with, say, Honda Jet or Citation M2 or something like that, even a TBM 960, those prices are broaching $6 million. So for the price of the Vision Jet, I would be willing to sacrifice that additional 25% performance that we leave out there by saving the price of the acquisition. So a lot of people get involved in this whole discussion about, oh, the Vision Jet is so limited uh, in what it can do. Not really. Um, the way I think of it is I can put four adults in here. We can probably go two and a half, three hours of flight time. And by then, anybody on board is going to want to use the restroom probably anyway, right? So we just make our fuel stops that coincide with when we might need to use the restroom or when we want to have a dinner break or get lunch. And it works out just perfectly. It's just really important to have the right sort of expectations. And again, we could spend $6 million on the next level of an aircraft, but we're only gonna get 25% more performance. So the Vision Jet really is nice. I would rather spend the three and a half million and get what we get in the Vision Jet in terms of its safety with the parachute, safe return feature, all those things that go along with the Vision Jet safety record. Look, we all have ambitions to go higher and faster and further but sometimes we just have to be a little bit more realistic and put a price on those capabilities. In the case of the Vision Jet, I think that it does a very good job for what it was intended to do. And again, it's a transition aircraft, single engine operation, so you don't need a multi-engine rating. You just simply need to be qualified as a strong instrument rated pilot, and you have to have strong pilot skills, sufficient to pass your initial type rating, and then go and get your recurrent done every year. And then you're capable of flying the Vision Jet. I appreciate you guys coming along in this video. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, doing so really helps me out and shows the people at YouTube that you like this content. And so the good news is, stand by to stand by. We'll be providing more Vision Jet content in the future. And I hope you are looking forward to it. By all means, until next time, safe flying. And we'll see you on the next flight. I really appreciate you watching the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. Also, click on the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when new videos are posted. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to send your emails, comments, and feedback. My goal is to provide even better content for you as we continue to grow the channel. Until next time, safe flying, and we'll see you on the next flight.